Later this year, Classic WoW will turn 5 years old. Can you imagine going back to day 1 of its release and telling someone where the game will be out right now? Yeah, so turns out we are going to be playing Cataclysm Classic eventually. You'd get laughed at by many. Back then everything was so heavily no changes, we want the original hardcore MMO experience. And then along comes TBC and Wrath and... Well, here we are. Or in regards to the Season of Discovery, imagine telling a Feral Alliance Druid player back then, there will be a future where people are literally begging for you to join their raids. You could have next to no gear and just auto-attacking cat form, but you have Wind Fury, so enjoy your permanent raid spot. Or telling Shaman players there will be a time in the future when they are playing the most dominant class in the game, whilst Warriors feel average in comparison. A lot's changed, that's for sure. What was that saying? You think you do, but you don't? We've even moved past that now, I feel like. We have had it, and now we want something else. Today's going to be a bit of a retrospective and thoughts type ramble video on the general state of the game as it currently stands on this big line going from Wrath to Kata, as well as seasonal servers, and of course, the versions of WoW that most, but not all, have now left behind. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, Boot.dev. Boot.dev is a platform that aims to equip you with the skills to forge your career in back-end development through interactive lessons and learning. Where it's unique is that it tracks progress and achievements, much like an RPG with goals, experience, and leaderboards. Boot.dev offers self-motivated individuals the tools to get fully on board with the Python and Go programming languages. It does this through hands-on learning, where you're going to be writing tons of your own code so that you can get a grasp of the fundamentals from the basics to more advanced lessons. On top of that, all content is free to view and watch in guest mode, and there's even a 30-day no-questions-asked refund policy. So even if you're just interested in checking out how Boot works and want to see more before you know if it's for you, there is very much an option to do that. Backend development itself is a career with tons of potential, great earnings, often remote positions, and you can start working towards that today at your own pace. You can click the link in the description box and use my code WILLE to get 25% off your first payment for Boot.dev. That's 25% your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription that you choose. Many thanks to Boot.dev for the sponsor today, let's get back to WoW. So I am a Cataclysm enjoyer. I've made a bunch of videos on the topic way before any thoughts of Cata Classic was ever possible. And even back then, they were on the positive side and received a lot of positive feedback. But I also think it is where things start to noticeably change, and it's a time where WoW entered a new era, if you will. I've always put it like this, Vanilla and TBC and Wrath were the classics with their big talent trees, simpler gameplay, persistent old world, varied stats, and so on. Kata, Mr. Pandaria, and Wad were the progressive expansions. Blizzard had hit it big with this whole MMO thing, bigger than they would have ever imagined, and by 2010 when Kata dropped, WoW was over six years old. Time to do big updates to core aspects of the game, reworking talent trees, harder and more varied content, focus on collections, and trimming that which was deemed unnecessary out of the game. The third era of WoW comes along and it's the most divisive one, the temporary power expansions, Legion, BFA, and Shadowlands. In these games, we have our class templates kind of done, basically, but we're going to be adding new stuff throughout the expansion to make them interesting. This started off fine in Legion, we were coming off the back of WOD and people wanted more stuff to do in the game, and to Legion, whatever you think about it, had stuff to do. But people got very tired of this format by BFA, and in Shadowlands, yeah, people were absolutely done with it. Also, these expansions had a big focus on stuff to do to keep up. They wanted you to log in and do your checklist. Then along comes Dragonflight. We've got big talent trees back again. Blizzard rein in the weekly and monthly upkeep stuff, lots more collection content, more varied endgame progression paths, and so on. And the wall within is the start of a trio of expansions, so we'll see how it builds on Dragonflight. But the point is, Cataclysm is definitely the first big shift in how well progressed, and as such people draw a line in the sand, and it is the end of classic for them. I often read comments along the line of, I played Kata back in the day for a few months and it was bad, not gonna be playing that again, and well, is it time to feel old yet? Because Kata released 
14 years ago. I'm just saying, perhaps after not having done something for 14 years, if you tried it again, you may have a different opinion. Or not. Really, the game changed significantly the moment when the Dark Portal opened. Expansions were the single biggest turning point in World of Warcraft's history. Before that, there was no concept of an old world or old content. Everything was as it always had been. You'd have your maximum level players in Stormwind and Orgrimmar. Starting at level 1 would see you run into people all the time instead of just rushing to level cap to get to the current content. And honestly, there could have been a huge tornado in Westfall and the Barons were split in two during TBC or Wrath and I probably wouldn't have noticed because I just didn't have a reason to be there anymore. Expansions changed the old world a lot, but Kata came along and made it obvious. And when the change became apparent, it was too much at once for many players. And now I've replayed the original three expansions all the way through, done every raid, leveled every class, and, you know, played the game a fair amount. It's vanilla, which is the version of the game that stands out the most because it is not an expansion. If Blizzard want to re-release, well, any expansion and call it classic, I mean, go for it. I've mentioned it in videos before, but people have started WoW at all points throughout its near 20-year history. Not every expansion may have had the same growth, but each will have its own merits that a certain amount of people will want to go back and see. Classic can really be anything that's re-released as it was back then, so people can go and see how it was back then. Well, kind of anyways, this has been changing as Blizzard, as well as the player base, are getting more open to altering or adding to the current Classic expansion. I still reckon one day we're going to have Legion Classic too. And yes, this means WAD Classic will exist too, and we'll just blast through it in about 12 months or so. We can choose the pacing of expansions now after all. That's pretty cool, I guess. But as Classic goes forwards into Kata and beyond, at the same time, Vanilla has started to grow in a completely new way. You know, it's no coincidence that Season of Discovery happened when it did, just as Kata's about to come out. It keeps those more traditional Classic enjoyers with something to go and check out. And Season of Discovery has done very, very well so far. You've probably seen the recent chart and sub-count estimates that are followed in its wake and, well, Season of Discovery came out, sub-count line goes up. It just works. There is clearly a huge demand for both vanilla content, as well as some changes being made to the game's base formats that people are really invested in. Season of Discovery has also showed us that the player base has definitely changed by and large on certain topics too. Nowadays we have mega servers that can fit tens of thousands of players, not these smaller tight-knit communities that people would always go on about back in the day. Turns out on an MMO that people just want other people to play with. We have gold that's much easier to get, it's faster to level and so on. Though some of these things do make sense given it's a seasonal server and everything. Of course, Phase 3 is out now, raising the level cap to 50 and we'll see how this plays out. At this point, part of me does just want to get to 60 and see how our class's full toolkit is supposed to play with everything Blizzard's planned, rather than feeling as though some specs have bits missing just so we have something to get later on. But then when we're 60, we have to go back to raiding Molten Core and Nixie BWL and so on. And the existing level 60 raids, if I'm being honest, were not my favourite. Maybe we'll get the season of mastery changes in the game though and they'll be a bit more interesting. I'll give them a go either way. At Blizzard though, I bet they've got more than enough to do on the classic team. Between getting Cataclysm in a state where it's working, as well as developing new stuff for Season of Discovery, and actively having to work on things such as class balancing on a regular basis. I would still like to see a standalone classic server that adds new content into the game one day. Season of Discovery is definitely the closest we've got to a real classic plus experience so far and given its success I expect to see more to come in terms of modified vanilla content. But changing that commitment from seasonal to permanent is a big undertaking and not without its own risks either. On seasonal servers they can massively increase XP gain, give us Wrath of the Lich King and Beyond abilities and just make us all feel overpowered Powered. and it's not in many cases how the game usually is with the pacing of vanilla at all but we can just brush it off and say yeah but it's seasonal so whatever just have fun with it while it's here would season of discovery have been as well received if it was presented as a full-on standalone classic plus server maybe 
Maybe not. But there are another group of players too, those who aren't on expansions and those who don't really want all these changes to the original classic format either. And those are the people still on Classic Era. In case you don't know, Classic Era were a bunch of servers made when vanilla was progressing onto TBC. And the idea was it was a place for people who prefer the vanilla version of the game to still have a home. And to this day, it's just vanilla that has received the era treatment. TBC did not get error servers, and there appears to be no plans for Wrath either, and time is running out. And at first glance, it's not hard to see why. Classic Error was a disaster when it first came out. The servers were dead, and not in an exaggerated sense either. They were dead. There would be a handful of people online, if that, and auction houses at times had zero items on. But it's grown over time. People have gone back to their old characters or sought to re-level in the old world without any new additions. It's not a huge population, to be honest, but it is consistent at least. And most importantly is that Era ended up serving its purpose, being a home for those who want a No Changes classic. It just took a while for people to start missing it enough. And you know what? Hardcore servers would have never happened if Classic Era didn't exist. By the time the hardcore scene started to get really popular, we were in Wrath of the Lich King. Would people still have wanted to go back and play a hardcore game mode on Wrath servers with all the class and open world changes? A few perhaps, but it was that legacy of having challenging vanilla leveling that made people want to go back and undertake the challenge. And hardcore ended up being a pretty huge deal for a good few months. There's still a scene for it, of course, it's not like it's ever too late to start, and one day it'll probably have a resurgence because it's just always going to be there. And I've seen the odd sentiment here and there start to crop up about people missing TBC as well now. We're getting to that point where time has now gone by, but unlike vanilla, they can't go back. TBC's gone. If a big piece of classic is re-releasing and preserving older expansion experiences, why are we once again leaving them in the past? That doesn't quite add up to me and Wrath is soon to get the same treatment in having no Era Realms. By the way, Icecram Citadel came out over 5 months ago and still has about 175,000 active raiders. If 10% of those people carried onto a Wrath Era server, it would have the same raiding population as Classic Era. And I don't know whether Blizzard doesn't want another hosting dead server situation, it being logistically difficult to offer different expansions or whatever it is, but it seems there's only even Vanilla is the expansion, or version of the game I should say, that's carrying on and on. And no, I don't think segmenting the player base is an issue here. These error servers are a niche thing to begin with, and for Blizzard, a sub is a sub. You might spend different amounts of time in different games doing different things, but somebody who subbed for Plunderstorm and somebody who raids Nax 40 on Classic Era are both subscribers. Overall though, despite me thinking as though the first three versions of WoW felt like a trilogy, keeping on releasing future expansions is kind of the point of classic in the first place in many ways. I reckon we get to Legion eventually, but I'm sure there is a longer term plan because at the end of the day, we're revisiting expansions at a faster pace than they're releasing. And over time, I think we're gonna keep speeding up. Classic Era is an idea which I think works just eventually. And it's a bit of a shame to not see it for TBC or Wrath. I wouldn't play them personally. I mean, even for Classic Era, outside of Hardcore, I didn't really play it. But I think there would be a niche player base for them. I hope Season of Discovery and Hardcore as an alternative game mode have both made big impressions on Blizzard. Vanilla is the game with the biggest reach by a huge amount. It's the only pre-expansion version of World of Warcraft, and as such we can add content which builds on what exists, rather than releasing expansions and replacing everything. Though I am still hoping for something more permanent one day, but Seasonal is a great testing grounds to see what works, and I've been super happy with it so far. I think given all the choices we have at the moment, Classic is doing just fine though, and outside of error servers not existing for old expansions being a bit of a shame, the future of Classic is looking very interesting. But those are just my thoughts at the moment and a few bits and pieces which I felt like talking about today. If you made it to the end, let me know what you think about the overall state of Classic in the comments down below, and thank you all so much for watching and listening in, and I'll see you all in the next one very soon.